In this lesson, we're going to take a quick look at some of the features in the File menu, including New and Open File, Close and Close All, Save, Save As, and Save All. Essentially, the File menu is a lifeline for us to work with files and folders, different project features, and we've already seen some of this. For example, we've already seen Alt-Shift-N will give us the ability to bring up a new dialog when we're trying to create new classes. If we were in this package, for instance, we could hold down Alt, Shift, and N, and that brings up the new dialog. Of course, on the Macintosh, the Alt key is the Option key, so Option, Shift, N on the Macintosh. Now here we have New, and we can create projects. We can work with packages, classes, interfaces, enumerations, basically all of the different types of files or folder structures that we need to create. We can leverage the new menu to build those different features. What we haven't seen is opening a file. Now there is no quick shortcut to open a file, and essentially opening a file will simply open it for us to look at in our editor. It doesn't necessarily associate it with a project. For example, if we wanted to read a text file, or if we wanted to take a look at some other type of code file that we wanted to see to leverage when we're building our own projects, we could open those files in our editor just fine, and we can actually work with them. We could change them if we want. Essentially, then we have the ability to save them if we need to, or we could leverage this for copying paste operations if we were looking to do something like that in our code for some reason. But once we have Windows open, we've already seen that Control W on the Mac, that would be Command W, is going to close a single window. So if I were to be in this location and hit that Control W combination, it asks me would I like to save my changes and I can save them if I want. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I'd like to show you one that we haven't seen which is close all. Control plus shift plus W will allow us to close every single open editor that we have. Now I want you to note that this does not close the project, it simply closes the editors. So again, command shift W on the Mac, control shift W on PC and Linux. And let's not save changes to our password file and you can see that all of those files were successfully closed. Now I'm just going to open a couple more again just so we have them open. And what I can show you here is that if we just make a change to each one of these files, once we have changes, of course, we can save the changes. So if we wanted to save just a single file, we could hit Control S. Now that will save that change that I just made. And you can see the asterisk disappears from the top of the editor window. Let's once again make a change. And the final thing there with saving is we can save as, if we wanted to rename this file for some reason, we can save it to a different location. We could save it in the same place with a different name if we wanted to change the name for some reason. Select OK if we want to save as. And finally, if we want to save all. Just like when we had close all, we added the shift to the combination. If we press the combination, Control Shift S, we will save all of our open files that have changes. Let's go ahead and do that. And again, this is Command Shift S on the Macintosh. So Control Shift S. And we'll note that all three files now have successfully saved. So that wraps up our quick look at the file menu where we see the new open file, close, close all, save, save as, and save all.